reminded of this um, very beautiful story I had heard once. Uh, you know, uh, there was this was one man uh, who went to Loi Bazaar in Vrindavan. He had gone for the first time to Vrindavan. So he asked, what can I buy here? So people said, look, uh, usually, you know, in Vrindavan, people end up buying the brass statues, you know, brass idols or vigrahas of Krishna. So, and in Vrindavan, you know, all kinds of vigrahas are available. So he ends up buying Durga Devi and he buys Radha Krishna and he buys few more. And he just carries them home. Now when he carries them ho- home, his wife is like, are you going to worship all of them? So, you know, why do you, do, why do you have to worship all of them? Just, just pick up, you know, and rest of them. You know what we do sometimes, you just give them to your neighbors or you give them to your relatives, you know, when you bring something from Vrindavan. So he says, you are right. So he just puts them all in the cupboard and he just takes out Radha and Krishna and he starts worshipping them. Now he's worshipping Radha Krishna every day. And every day that he's worshipping, you know, he's, he's making a silent desire. Oh Krishna, can you do this for me? And he's been making that desire for a long time now. So now six months pass, eight months pass. He does his worship regularly, very nicely. But Krishna is not fulfilling his desire. So one day he gets very angry. He said, I think it's a wrong decision. I shouldn't have worshipped Radha Krishna. They're not fulfilling my desire. So he just takes those Radha Krishna, puts them in the cupboard takes out Durga Devi's uh, 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 Vigraha and puts the Vigraha out and, and starts the worshipping of Durga Devi. I think I'm going to ask you because they're not fulfilling my desire. So now he's already, he brings his Aarti plate, he takes out his Agarbati and then he lits his uh, matchstick and the incense is ready. And now when he's just, uh, you know, going around the incense, suddenly he stops and he just puts the incense down and he runs and his wife is like, what happened? He said, don't talk. Can you give me some cotton? Immediately, immediately, please give me some cotton. And his wife will bring some cotton from the kitchen. And he just rushes to the to the cupboard where he had kept Radha Krishna deities. He opens the cupboard. He takes the cotton and he puts the cotton in the nostrils of Radha and Krishna. And then he closes the cupboard and comes out. And his wife is like, what happened? He said, no, it's just that, you know, I was worshipping Radha Krishna for a long time. And they never fulfilled my desire. So now when I'm offering this Agarbati, I don't want that they should be smelling that incense. Why should I give them that worship? That is why I put, you know, uh, cotton in their nostrils so that they don't get this incense. It's only for Durga Devi. I'm not going to give them because they haven't fulfilled my desire. Now when, when, when Radha Rani and Krishna hear this, they just laugh and they just come out. Oh, okay, come on. What is your desire? We'll fulfill, all right? Take this, take this cotton out from our nostrils. It's all right. Now, why did I tell this story is that he has full faith that Krishna is there and when I am giving this incense Krishna is smelling that incense he's actually taking it he's not thinking that they're just some idols made up of brass he actually thinks Krishna is there and I thought that was so beautiful Krishna 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 